Okay, nobody's gone full offense. Uh, well, interesting. we're seeing some defense here as we start up on the Abyss. Frog decked out. Since we're in the US, he's going red, white, blue. But he's got himself a Doran shield. He has. Uh, he's also started, he does have AP. So he is not going AD LeBlanc. Uh, for, definitely not going AD LeBlanc. AD Anivia. First snowball has missed. Icicle misses. Second That's snowball? That's a 0% skill shot rate so far. All Faker's yeah. got to do is hit one Q and he wins. Uh, ah! Okay. 0%. Well, so far, it's pretty much a snow day for these two, but they're not hitting anything with those snowballs. Is it just me, or does Froggen's model look ever so slightly bigger? Yeah, I think it might be. Oh, it's a sweet dance. So Mattel is here. Oh, it's coming. Oh, he's done. First no shot from Faker, and he's going to get it right off back. back. And gets minion damage. This is a true mirror right And now. gets minion damage from that, so uh, Froggen will be pretty happy with that. That's basically the first shot fired. Um, at this point, it's uh, this one's gonna be a long one, guys. Get in, yeah, strap uh, in. This is long gonna be form. a very no uh, ignites because, of course, you've got the egg. So it's kind of we, we actually have to go if we get two double lives egg, here. If we get double egg here, uh oh, another stun. Faker, the count's up to two for Froggen right now. This is this is his court. So is the level counter as well. So True. Froggen now does have access to his E, I would imagine. Literally, no point in skilling W in this matchup. Um, I mean, I could be in trouble here if Faker loses this one because I picked him to win the whole thing. Yeah, that's... you could be in trouble. I oh, mean, Snowball lands him. It does. You're not going to go in on that. No. You take too much minion damage. Faker has a mana advantage. It's very, very slight at this point, but he could definitely get off of a larger spell rotation. I guess he's only got two spells available, Ooh. but he's got another that, stun oh, on one Froggen. doesn't have the vision, though. Can't follow up for the, uh, the Ice Shard for that extra damage. This is riveting. It's like a good book. You just wait for the excitement to start happening. I'm, I'm, it's just, oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> it's just so, it's like, just, literally the, way, the only time anything happens is when Q lands. It's great. Just just for anyone who's not familiar with the Nibia, this is a perfect tutorial. Kind of. For both. If you want to play against another Anivia. There's going to be like... Oh, no, there's going to be like, there's gonna be like the other Anivia purists in the world that aren't named yeah. Krogan, uh that are like loving this already. It's like, ah, oh, it's so many cues landing, it's great. I want to see like... Missing. Oh, wait a minute. There's a lot of auto attack trading here. There's the Ice Shard. Froggen does... So he does get Grasp of the Undying. He gets a little bit back. Okay. Faker rocks the same thing. But he's also taken a bite out of his... Well, not Biscuit, Potion. And the Ice Shard... That Ice Ball did not manage to get the stun off, but he did get a little bit more damage. Faker's still trading back and forth a little better. And he's got a level advantage now until Froggen equalizes. Yeah, Froggen does equalize that one. And now Fake is going to try and push forward through the minion wave. But it's an even game right now. Froggen is a couple of CS up. It's not really going to matter too much. I wonder whether either of these are going to go tier. Now, that sounds like a really stupid thing, but we actually saw it a good few times at IWCA. I, just get I, was, game, right? I was a little confused by the first, because I'm like, well, you're never going to get to a tier item. So it's basically just giving you the extra what of max mana. Hear me out here. Okay, I'm here. Gentlemen's agreement. They sit at 99 CS, and they only win by killing each other. I, I don't see that. And then they get full builds. I don't see that happening because at that point, that is when you just come back and you're like, ha! Win conditions. Get that last CS. Got it. This is why I'm not in these 1v1s. I'm not gentleman like that. I'm like, I want, I'm going to win this Ooh. if I can. For the farming. There's a snowball. Froggen's not going to go in on that one, though. He does have a little bit of health disadvantage. Ice Shard's going to come in and take another bite out of his health bar, but still, more sustain thanks to the grass for the undying. So, right now, Faker has three points in the stun. Oh, Froggen dodges! He trades well on that one. Have they both got three points in E? That is what I'm wondering. I would imagine so. At this point, level five, no reason for points in W. Yeah. You can see Fake is right now. Looks like. uh, I'm assuming Froggen has exactly the same thing. Clearly, this is the optimal build. Yeah, I mean, there's not really too many ways of, uh, of building Anivia this early onset that's uh, all that different, but... Yeah. Faker wants to push back up onto Froggen, but... Now, what I really want to see is when people just start ice-walling each other. <laughs> it literally is the least useful ability in this matchup. When you have Snowball and It Flash, is, but they got to take it eventually. Ev yeah, eventually you have to. They have to actually point. skill it at some point. Not, yeah. not next level, but soon. Soon, soon TM. Uh, at this point, Froggen is just keeping the push going. He's a... Oh, but CSD Faker up. goes in on this one, and he forces a flash. flash. Wow. Yeah. Huh. 
territory marked. Oh, and goes in. Now has he's oh. got baby. Get an egg out of this one. But can he scramble him up for breakfast? I don't think he's got the damage. But this is all Faker needs right now. All he has to do is be able to recall safely. And he's already got the egg. And if he can make the same kind of play happen again, he should be fine. Faker manages to sidestep. Catches Frog again. Stun, looking no for man, dying. That is a really low health Faker, but he keeps on going. Use just the mark. trying to push him back. Oh, He gets boy. it. True damage for the follow-up. Frog is not going to go for it. it. There's no. too much mana for no, the this is Frog is not going to yeah, go in on that. Good. This Nine is... times out of ten. Yeah, that is... Uh... Oh. oh, did manage to get it, but can't There's... quite follow up. Just on the minion. Faker's still going to go for it. But he's playing a dangerous game here. He's got the egg available, that's true. But he's trusting that Frog just can't even do enough to get him in that form. It's all about that little, little bit of mana that is left on uh, Frog. And if Faker feels like it's enough, for the uh, spell rotation to come out, he's not going to go aggressive. Faker, remember, does still have his egg. Froggen does not. So that is another thing to keep in the mix. Froggen's going to have to go ahead and back here, but he should have a little bit of gold banked up. We'll see what he does decide to build. Faker can push these minions into the turret and go home with a CS. Well, not to advantage, but at least even the gap a little bit. So Froggen instantly picks up the catalyst. Is looking for the stacking game. Uh, I mean, it's going for the long con. Okay, both of them go for the catalyst. The difference yep. is the second Doran's ring. Huh. We'll see how that plays out. A little bit more AP, a little bit more, bit more mana regen, and that does seem to be the big difference between Frog and, and Faker right now. Is that Faker has just had a little bit more mana in these last few trades. Yeah, that pretty much has been it. Froggen still maintains the CS differential, and he's building it up a little bit more. It's about 8 at this point. Faker, however, has shown that if he gets a chance, he will go in. But it's Froggen who jumps Ooh. in this time. The stun's on Faker. A good trade for Froggen. Grasp of the Undying heals them both up a bit. But he throws out his own ultimate. Faker's about to get egged, but not quite, as he wings it over to the health and waits just a second. However, Faker now going to be able to collect a big set of minions in front of him, or would be able to if the uh, fast hitting mechanic was the same as on some of his rift. Manages to get all of the range creeps. Now we'll back off again. So this is Froggen's opportunity to extend the CS lead, but it is at the cost of the health. Froggen is going to be on this kind of three quarters, two thirds of his health as Faker comes back unless he recalls right now. And that's what Froggen's going to do. Uh, this wave should just about all die to this turret. This so is a Faker. pretty big advantage for Froggen. Uh, like yeah, it got, is. He's got nine. Oh, oh, oh okay. So Faker gets okay. That's Not uh, so bad. Pretty good timing from Faker, knowing he could get the Q just to get that last hit on the minion. So half the wave died, and now Faker is able to kind of just... Ooh, oh, he's, he's going to try to freeze. Try to freeze. I like it. I like it at this point. Faker trying to drag Froggen forward. No magic mantle onto Froggen, though. So he's going for that slightly more defensive build while ahead on uh, CS. That is, honestly, that is normally oh, the way th There's the ice. That's what I'm talking about. The wall right there makes Faker take a little bit more damage on the back half of that. Yeah, it is nice at this point that uh, you just can force them to stay within your ult and uh, make sure you get that ice shard off. But in the early game, it wasn't really going to offer too much. Oh, they, they're going to trade go. it away now. And more Faker's taking it worse, though. Turns his own ulti off as the ice walls are melting, but an auto attack will heal him up just a little bit. About on par with Froggen, who's going to be sending a few more minions Faker's way. And he's got that 11 CS differential. It's going to be evened up just a bit, but... Froggen could be on par to win this in CS. Yeah, looks like it for now. Faker, however, no potions left. Froggen does have some in his inventory. Froggen... Oh, oh actually, snowball, though. He, Faker it's should not go in on this, though. You can see that Froggen already playing that defensive zone of the area there. Faker yeah, now so pushes up. Froggen just used a lot of his mana just to push that wave back in towards Faker. So, uh, just trying to keep Faker on the turret. Froggen, that is a big, big misplay to get caught by that, but Faker... Used a lot of his mana on that trade. Does get a lot of Froggen's health off. He's got the vision. He knows that Froggen was hiding out in that brush, but Faker had already leveled up. He got a little bit extra. The key thing about that little trade, though, is Faker prevented Froggen from actually extending the CS lead. It's now down to three CS. He can even it up here. Yeah, and Faker, with this kind of position on the minion wave, it's now forces Froggen to kind of come uh -oh. forward. I, I like the attempt at the wall there. Froggen will be able to pick up this CS. But it's it's just he about uses dead. Uses so yeah. much mana for it, though. I mean, this could really go either way. We could be down to, like, they're fighting for the last minion. <laughs> It's going to be like whose uh, who's snowstorm is going to be able to deal more damage than the Clearly, no one's going to die. Oh, which Just point? Faker's will. Oh, oh, Faker's going, going in. in! 
He takes a lot of damage though, and he's gonna try to turn for the help, but Frog is gonna flash. Egg Faker is gonna maybe get egged, not quite, not today. But Froggen is just on the offensive, and he can keep pushing forward. Once again, builds up the CS lead. And Fake is zoned away from the minions, and we're now so close that I don't think Faker can actually recall here. With no mana, Froggen, all he's gonna do is prevent the recall, and he knows that as long as he controls the, uh, the health relics, he should be fine. Doesn't matter about the egg at this point, because it's all about CS. Summoner spells. Flashes have been burned, and now it's gonna be if Baker can just go in, get a little extra damage, he may be able to turn it around, but the egg's back up. The wall's gonna stop him. Auto won't be enough, but it's still 90 CS to 81. He's gotta go in. Come on, Froggen. No, no he's no, a no, level no. up. The catalyst. It's, it's not even that. It's not worth for him to go into the turret, because even though he they has egg, he'd only trade egg for egg, and then the turret would aggro. So he cannot go aggressive. He Baker wants to go. Oh, There's the egg on Froggen. Baker uses this to recall. He's got to do it. Well, he can take some time to start farming up a little bit as the egg comes back up. But yes, he's going to be in so much trouble because Froggen has got only 10 minutes to go. Froggen's going to start trying to chase, though. The snowball went out, but it was on Fakers, and he just gets trolled a little bit by the ice wall. Froggen's no, well, was fairly low on mana here. Oh my, no, Faker, you can't recall here. There's a minion wave coming. Faker just loses the game. It's Faker four, literally yes, just lost the game on that recall. Easy, this is easy. it, Froggen's He's going to watch it from the fountain. GG. The Anivia King is still the king. Even without Wraith Camps, Froggen still farms his way to victory. It was only 100 he needed this time. Oh, that recall at the end. I mean, Faker had no option at that point. Yeah. That was...